Hey there, this is David from OpenFort, and today I'm excited to introduce a new integration sample. In this session, we'll explore Unity Level Play, a powerful advertisement system perfect for monetizing your games. With Level Play, we're taking a unique approach. Players get to decide whether they watch an advertisement video or not. If they choose to watch, we will cover the gas fees for their NFT minting. But on the flip side, if they decide not to, a nominal charge in ERC20 tokens will be applied. If that sounds interesting, stick around for the entire session. So, as always, let's see the result of this integration. Here we are on uh, my Android device, and I can sign in to create a new OpenFort player, and some ERC20 tokens will be granted to me. My balance is uh, one, and now I can decide to watch the advertisement. So, once the advertisement is completed, I can mint an NFT without any cost. So the transaction is being sponsored. And when the transaction is successful, the balance of my ERC20 tokens are still one, and I can see the representation of the NFT in my inventory. Now I can try again, but this time um, the transaction won't be sponsored. So uh, this will cost uh, some ERC20 tokens. As you can see, the balance now is zero, but still I have minted a new NFT. So in my open for dashboard, I can go to players and we'll see that both transactions are successful. And if we go to Polygon Scan under my account, we see uh, the both transactions here. And one um, the charge, the ERC20 tokens, and this one is the sponsored one. Okay, so here we are in our repository. And to start, we'll go through the prerequisites, which are very simple. First, you'll need to have uh, an OpenFort account and create it, well, and have created a new project. Also, have an Iron Source account and no need to create an app as we will do that. Just have the account and sign in to the dashboard. And also for um, Unity, go to cloudunity.com and create a new account if you don't have. And also no need to create a new uh, project for this one as we will do this automatically from Iron Source, as you'll see later. So to start, uh, let's start set up um, uh, the OpenFort dashboard. And in this project, we'll need to have two contracts. So you can go to the um, readme and go find the NFT contract and go to OpenFort assets. Let's create a new contract. Let's call this simple NFT. And we are, we're going to do all this um, on the Mumbai test network and paste the address. So no need to add the ABI as this will be done automatically by OpenFort. So let's create add contract. So this uh, simple NFT has a public uh, mint and you can use the same for your project. Okay, so if you go to assets, you'll see that uh, we have uh, the contract added. Next, we also need to have an ERC20 uh, contract, which will be the gold that we that we use to pay the, the non-sponsored transaction. So uh, you can go also to this link right here, and we're, we're going to use third web in this case to just deploy um, a basic token um, contract. And also uh, make sure you have some test Matic in your um, wallet. So click on deploy. And we're going to name this in-game gold. And for example, it will be uh, iGold as the symbol. Also make sure you add uh, trusted forwarders. Uh, default is OK. And then just deploy to Mumbai. So we're going to wait a bit for this. Right. So click on confirm. Nice. And now we'll add this to third web dashboard. Great. So if we close this, nice. Uh, we can copy the address. Go back to open for dashboard, add a contract. Oh, sorry, this here uh, address. And we're going to name this in-game gold, also on Mumbai. We can go to sources, and we're going to copy all the AVI, and we will paste it here. Perfect. 
So we have uh, both contracts and now we need to set up some gas policies. So we'll start by adding a full sponsor policy on Mumbai. We want to pay the gas for the user and we want to do this for the in-game gold. So in as you see in the start of the of the game, we send some test uh, in-game gold to the user so we can uh, test uh, the app. So we want to sponsor this and also we want to sponsor the mint of the simple NFT when we have watched the app. So uh, make sure you have both contracts here. And also the strategy is pay gas for users, so save policy. And we have one policy and now we need to add another one which, which we will call charge ERC20 also on Mumbai and we will charge a fixed amount okay but it needs to be typed in way so we can go to eth converter for example well just search it on Google we want to be sending one so we need to type this value right here and that's okay uh, we need to apply this to in-game gold so that's right let's save policy and we have all the policies that we need and to end with the configuration we need to go to developers dev accounts and add a new developer account and this will create a new custodial account on Mumbai. So what we'll be doing is sending some in-game uh, tokens to this developer account. So this is simulating that uh, this is our creator account, our uh, game developer account. And from this account, we will send the tokens to the players. So uh, to prepare this, go to the token. We will first uh, mint some tokens. Let's say we want 10,000 tokens. Approve this. And now let's transfer some of these uh, tokens to our developer account. So let's click on transfer. Let's copy this address. Paste it right here and we will send 1,000. Let's confirm this. Okay, great. As you see, the creator wallet doesn't own the whole supply. So 1000 of these tokens. If we copy this address and go to Mumbai Testnet Explorer, we paste it. We'll see that it has exactly 1000 in-game gold. So with all that, uh, OpenFort dashboard is set up. Okay, so now it's time to set up Iron Source. Uh, as you know, um, Unity partnered with uh, Iron Source a few uh, years ago, and the result of this in, uh, partnership it was Unity Level Play. So uh, in Unity, before you had Unity Ads uh, monetization. But now uh, you can use the mediation, you can use iron source as mediation. And this is the uh, actually the most powerful way to do ads in Unity. And actually there's uh, also a way to do it very nicely through iron source. And you don't need almost to uh, set up uh, your Unity Cloud dashboard. It does some things automatically. So let's go to uh, iron source and let's create a new app. And let's select the app is not in uh, App Store. We're going to do this for Android, but the iOS, it would be almost the same process. So uh, this is going to be ads integration tutorial. And the app is not directed to children. And let's apply do not sell settings. Click on add app. And for this, um, we only need to use the rewarded uh, ads. Let's click on continue. 
And as you see, Iron Source is um, set up. And you could do uh, the Unity ads from the cloud, but uh, the, there's a nice way to do it from Iron Source, as I said. So, first of all, go to Manage Networks, go to Unity ads, and we'll need to fill some information here. This is my old information, but you will find this um, on your Unity Cloud. So, let's go to Cloud. Unity adds monetization. You can find it here on shortcuts if you don't have it. And go to API management. And here, let's, if you don't have this, uh, you will uh, see create a new API key. So let's create this and I will regenerate this. So, first of all, copy this API key and paste it here. Then you need the organization core ID, which is uh, under here, organization settings. You can copy it and paste it here. And then this is the uh, interesting thing. Uh, enable this Unity Vidder Auto Setup. And we will need to create a service account uh, in Unity Cloud. So it then links to Iron Source and creates things automatically. So go to API Management create level play service account and very important copy this and of course don't show it to anybody i will be deleting this afterwards so in my case i have some notes here and i will be pasting both key id and the secret key and save this so well we can also just copy it directly where we need a secret key click on save you can click on done here and now we've added unity ads as network so let's set up uh, and because we did that we can just click on add bidder and all the needed information will be filled automatically click on save that's perfect and what's more you can now go to projects and we'll see that a new project has been added also with uh, monetiz monetization enabled with all the information needed so that's amazing and uh, also on administration on service accounts we have a new service account uh, created and we will be uh, set up uh, this later when we need to deploy uh, some cloud code to the project but for now, Iron Source and Cloud Unity dashboard are uh, successfully set up. All right, so now it's time to fill some environment variables in our Cloud Code modules. So open the Cloud Code, well, this um, solution with your preferred IDE. In my case, I'm using Rider. And under Singleton Module uh, Script, let's fill all this. So go to Open for Dashboard, and let's start by adding the secret API key, of course, don't show this to anybody. Paste it here. Then go to assets and let's copy simple NFT contract ID and also the in-game gold under gold contract. Now let's do the same with the policies. Let's copy charge ERC20 policy and also full sponsor one. And finally, let's go to developers, dev accounts and copy your dev account ID. So that's all we need to do, but we can take a, a quick look on how this works. So for example, to start, we will be granting some test tokens to the player. And this happens here on the transfer module on grant test tokens uh, method. And basically we are uh, calling it the transfer function of the gold contract and using OpenFort client and OpenFort C Sharp SDK to creating the transaction. And then as you see, this is interesting. Uh, send, we're using this send player message. Uh, this is a native from uh, Unity Cloud Code. 
and this sends a message to Unity when the transaction is completed. So th that's how it works. Uh, the uh, the transact well the transfer of the tokens, but also if you go to minting module, you'll see that uh, the minting also uh, works uh, the same way. But the interesting thing here is that there's um, this method expects a boolean. Uh, we call it sponsored. And if it's a sponsored, um, we're going to use the full sponsor policy. That's the interesting thing of this integration. And if not, uh, we're, we're going to charge the players some ERC20 tokens. So yeah, uh, take a look um, if you want uh, at other modules here, but the basic ones uh, and the most important in this integration are this one. So with that, we have the this setup and we can now build this, but to build, we need to add a new configuration. So let's click on add new configuration and publish to folder. Okay. And you can name it if you want. And the most important thing, well, make sure that all the settings are uh, like this and change the target runtime to Linux x64. And then uh, try to um, enable this and a ready to run um, option. Now it has been enabled, so enable it, click on apply and OK. And then you can build this first. You see that the build is completed. And now you can run this configuration to get the, all the packed code. So let's wait a bit for this. And you will find this uh, on your target location. So if you edit the configuration, you see the target location. Under Publish folder, you'll have all the code. So in my case, uh, I have it here under UGS backend, Cloud Code Modules, Bean Release, Linux Publish. And this is all the code that I need to deploy to the cloud, to the Unity Cloud dashboard. So to do that, you can select all and zip all this, or compress all this, um, and make sure that it's named cloud code modules, okay? And then change the extension to CCM in Windows. Uh, I can I do it like this, but you can do it through command, for example, if you are in a Mac. And this is the file, okay, that we will need to deploy to uh, Cloud Dashboard. So to do that, you can go to the README and find setup UGS backend section. And here there's a official documentation uh, steps that uh, you can follow, well, that we're going to follow. Um, the only thing that we won't do is install the UGS CLI, so you can do that yourself. And once installed, you can go back to your folder and we're going to open a terminal in this location. And First of all, we're going to log in. Okay, we're going to log into the Unity Cloud. Your key ID is the service account ID. So if you go to your Unity Cloud dashboard, uh, there's a level play uh, automated service account created. You can click on it and copy this ID right here. Paste it. And now your secret key, remember that we saved the secret key. In my case, I have it here on notes and I can open it with Visual Studio, for example. And this is the uh, secret key. So I will enter my uh, secret key. And now uh, we ca you can go back to the, the documentation and we will need to set up the project ID. And you will find the project ID on the cloud dashboard under projects the automatically created project from iron source and you will find the key uh, the project id here so paste it and last we also need to set up the environment name and the environment name well it's going to be production but go to the cloud dashboard to make sure it is production in environments if you have added a new environment, please add the correct name. So enter. And now uh, we will type UGS deploy and find the CCM uh, file that we uh, zipped. 
and click on enter and of course we find uh, an error because this uh, service account doesn't have the required roles for deploying uh, cloud code to the dashboard so let's click on it and here under project uh, roles let's click on manage uh, project roles select uh, your project and on admin we need to add these three last roles and then also on live ops we need to select the cloud code script publisher and scroll down and then you need the cloud code editor leaderboards admin and also the triggers configuration editor let's click on save and now if you try again you just deploy the deployment will be successful as you see successfully deployed so if we go to cloud code under modules we have our cloud code modules deployed to the dashboard so now from unity we will be able to call these functions uh, so let's see how we do this all right so i opened the unity client uh, with uh, unity and under build settings switch to platform android okay so when everything is uh, compiled you can go to player settings on services you need to select your unity organization and select your project and click on link and here also make sure you select your environment and that's it for uh, the project settings for now so now uh, let's go to the main scene and you will find uh, all the controllers here in one controller uh, that uses the iron source sdk is this ads controller so let's open this one and the only thing that we need to do here is to fill uh, the app key variable with your iron source uh, app key id so go to iron source dashboard copy the key and paste it right here this one is for android because we set up the iron source uh, app for android but if you did it for iphone ios paste it uh, right here and yeah uh, basically this uh, subscribe to sub uh, iron source events and for example uh, let's go to unity and and see the full um, workflow so here we have all the controllers and here we have the views that these controllers activate and deactivate and for example when uh, the auth controller has authenticated to unity it then sends um, the test tokens as you'll see it then sends the well it grants the test tokens to the player uh, this calls to the cloud code modules uh, to the transfer uh, tokens and uh, we have all these uh, controllers have some unity events that happen when the when the key functionality of the controller is done and then the other controller takes over and also calls uh, the the needed methods so for example auth controller authenticates tokens controller sends the some test tokens to the player then adds a uh, controller activates the view and the player can watch uh, the ad or skip it and then the min controller comes and uh, this activates and let's actually see the min controller so what happens is that we get the uh, erc20 balance and we check if the this is the uh, the key function in the in this integration we check if, if the ad was watched or not and we called uh, the mint nft uh, function sending this sponsored uh, boolean uh, to the function as you remember we checked before that the mint uh, function in the cloud code modules checks if it's a sponsor or not and uses one policy or the other so yeah these are the key parts of the integration so before building uh, make sure we leave the scene as it was uh, and yeah go to file build settings and click on build 
and let's wait a bit for this to finish. Great, so the build was successful, so send this to your Android device and see you there. So in Android, I can sign in as a new open for player and some uh, in-game gold is being sent to me. As you see, I have uh, one. So I can watch the advertisement and once that's completed, I can mint the NFT without any cost. So the transaction is being sponsored and that's successful. Also the balance is still one and I, now I can see the NFT in the inventory. And now I can try again to mint the NFT, but this time uh, uh, the in-game tokens will be, uh, will be uh, well, will cost. So my balance now is zero, but still the NFT is minted. So yeah, that's the integration. I hope that was interesting. So see you on the next one. Bye-bye.